Hello, I am here to help you find out which M9 math class is right for you. We are so excited that you'll be at Marcus 9 and I have this slideshow to help you see where you belong in the math world. So for any math class at Marcus 9, the following information is applicable to you as a student. So you will be expected to work on a daily basis. This will include taking good notes, attempting all assigned work, coming in for tutorials before or after school when needed, and participating in classroom discussions. It will be expected that students will correct all missed quiz and test problems. This is done for the value of learning. No points will be earned for making corrections. We just don't want uh, you to make the same mistakes in the future. We have two different branches of classes that students can take. We have honors. Uh, and honor students have the opportunity to level down to on level at the three and nine week marks if they have attended tutorials and have completed all assignments and retests but are still not successful. Leveling down is also dependent on scheduling and availability. On level students do not have the opportunity to switch to an honors course after the semester starts. And so our honors level courses have a 1.15 GPA multiplier and on level has a 1.1 multiplier. So depending on what class you're currently in, that'll help determine what class you should take next year when you are at Marcus 9. If you are an 8th grade student, you have a couple options. You are ready to take Algebra 1. You can choose from All Year Algebra 1, On Level Algebra, or Honors Algebra. Click the course you're interested in to learn more. So I'm going to start by clicking on All Year Algebra. All Year Algebra is a course that's taken by about 8% of our student population. To register for this course, you have to get a recommendation from your current teacher or counselor. This is our slowest paced algebra course. It lasts all 36 weeks of the school year instead of just 18. By registering for All Year Algebra, you are losing the opportunity to take an elective course because this class will take you the whole year for a full uh, class period all year. If a student ends up failing all year algebra, you are actually missing out on two high school credits. We have a cap on the number of students that can register for this course because we want to make sure the classes are smaller to allow for more one-on-one -on -one help and attention. If the number of registrants is too large, we may limit enrollees to students who attend tutorials on a regular basis um, and still struggle to maintain a grade of 80 or above uh, and or by using a student's 8th grade star scores. On-level algebra is another option. In on-level algebra, there is a 10%, 30%, 60% grade breakdown, 10% is for homework, 30% is for quizzes, and 60% is for tests. When you're in an on-level algebra class, you're able to use the star formula chart on quizzes and tests. You may need multiple explanations and examples to help you learn. And students in this class are typically more concrete learners. And students may need additional assistance in completing assignments or help with organization. And students may need frequent reteaching of both current and previously learned content and skills. And then the um, highest level of algebra is honors algebra. Honors algebra, the grade breakdown is a little bit different. It's a 10, 20, 70 grade breakdown. 10% um, homework, 20% quizzes, 70% tests. Students are expected to memorize all formulas, so you don't get to use a formula chart when you're in the honors class. Students don't typically need repeated explanations. They are self-motivated and can think abstractly and critically. Students in this class like to be challenged, and the daily work has more depth and complexity. So now that we have looked through all of those things, if you have any questions, you can click back through this PowerPoint, and then you also can reach out to your student's counselor, or if you are the student watching this, you can reach out to your counselor with any questions you have. And we are looking forward to meeting you.